<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. Putting no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Soon! Oh! You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, he'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? He's still carrying that fucking gun. Marcus! The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. Yeah. 
So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. <laughs> patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. Then you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune, who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right, stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What is this place anyway? Missile silo, decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude, just party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. Shut it off. This is your designated. Your one man island with an armed sovereignty. Back to remind you that all of us here witnessed the wholesale denigration. Okay, this way. Let's find that escape hatch.
That Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know-it-all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies. Put so your hands up. Don't Whoa. move. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know-it-all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. <coughs> Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cops' bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here! Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. Wait. If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Let's just go. Switch, fuck. Come on. Right. You are this black man killed. I feel it. Oh, Doing. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here? Hey, 
Hey, Randy said you got a word about that thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's, 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 let's. Last weekend, 20 Russian Spetsnaz Special Forces come. Put your hands up. Who's Don't this move. guy? You've got a problem. Oh, fuck. What now? <clears throat> Freeze. All right, brother, you just take it nice and easy there. Right where you are. Alright, brother, you just take it nice and easy there. Alright? Hands up. Keep them up. The fuck? get that old heap of yours to run. What the hell are you talking about? Your spark plug insulator tips are cracked, for one. Yeah, I, I just changed them. <laughs> well, someone must have swapped them out. Hey! Keep those hands where I can see them. You got it.
here. Get in. Come on. Quick, get in the car. Hey, you want to talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip, that's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure, that's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's hey. a lot of things I'd like to Could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends until they found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys. God, you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot.
Shots are done! Kill these fucking guys! Burn this fucker! That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Dooney. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's a wang. <laughs> Check out that burnt out house before we go. The fire looks kind of recent. I told you, dudes, good people. Her dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did dude mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. You were a cop. Yeah. Well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? Not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay. Wait, well, so what? You, you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why he became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. Sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane. Oh, shit. Boomer, Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, uh do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud.
Boomer. These guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see like a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. I got the brute.
choppers! I think he stalled out! After we join up with Kai and Tyson, we are going straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. <laughs>